friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another 30 minute meal on WW. Tonight's dinner, I cooked it in the Instant Pot. It was so delicious, so good. It reminded me of a casserole that I featured on my channel before, but this time with ground beef and it was delicious. My husband really liked it. Super good, super quick super easy great meal for a weeknight or a busy weekend so if you want to see what 30 minute meal i have for you this week then just stay tuned for tonight's 30 minute meal we are making ground beef dinner this is everything that you would need all in one pot makes it super super easy so let me show you what is in tonight's dinner First, you're going to need two cups of water, rice, whatever type of rice you prefer, French fried onions, coconut aminos or soy sauce, whatever you have on hand, celery, an onion, extra lean ground beef. I'm going to be using 96.4 from Trader Joe's, a can of cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup either the healthy request or the low fat soup. And then we are gonna pair ours with one of our favorite vegetables. This is the Flavor Pack Grande Classics in Pacific Blend. This one is sugar, snap peas, yellow carrots, carrots and broccoli. We love it. So I'm just gonna steam up some of these in the microwave. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do for tonight's dinner is chop up our vegetables. So I'm gonna dice up my onion and my celery, just put it here in a bowl, and then we'll be ready to add everything to our Instant Pot. We are gonna cook it in that tonight. If you do not have an Instant Pot, you can go ahead and cook this on the stove as well. And it should be done in still about that 30 minute mark. So let me get my veggies chopped up. Started on our dinner I have my instant pot here I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some non-stick cooking spray to that I'm going to add my one pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef and we're just gonna put the whole thing into our instant pot and then also I have my chopped up onions and celery and I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the instant pot as well and then I'm gonna turn it on to the saute function and I'm going to let this cook down. So we're gonna to go to the front here and hit saute. It starts it for 30 minutes. So we're gonna let this cook. Once your hamburger is browned and your veggies have softened, we're gonna add all the rest of our ingredients. So I'm going to start with two cups of water. We're going to add one half of a cup of rice and I'm using the jasmine rice. We're also going to add our entire can of cream of chicken soup. And this will be the liquid that we need for the rice and also give that nice creamy base to our meal. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in our entire can of cream of mushroom soup. So this should definitely be nice and creamy with both of our soups. And lastly, we are adding in two tablespoons of soy sauce and then we're just going to give this a stir just make sure everything is nice and mixed together and i did forget to mention that i turned the saute mode off i actually turned the instant pot off after i had the hamburger browned and the celery and onions translucent so there is our dinner we're going to go ahead and put on our lid and basically from here we're turning this on too high and we're going to let this cook down for about 20 minutes until everything is fully done. I just took the lid off. It looks really good. You can see I did go ahead and add a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper to it. I tasted it and I felt like it needed a little bit of salt, so I added some garlic salt. So this is what it looks like. It looks really good. I'm going to let it set for just a couple of minutes and then I'll plate it up. We're going to top it with some of the French fried onions and my veggies are in the microwave and I'll give you the smart point. So we're going to have this on the table in just shy of 30 minutes. So here is the completed dinner. I broke out my fall plates. So let me show you what I have. I have one sixth 
of the ground beef casserole. And on top, I put two tablespoons of the French fried onions. For one sixth of the casserole, it is only six smart points. That includes the crunchy onion. So it looks really good. It's probably not the prettiest, but I tasted it and it is really, really good, especially with these crispy onions on top. And then I just have some of my vegetables with some spray butter, salt, and pepper. So tonight's dinner is only six points and it has been 28 minutes since we started. So great weeknight, weekend, fast paced night, meal for the family. Thank you for joining me on another episode in my WW 30 minute meals. I hope you enjoyed seeing this dish. It was so good. I mean, my husband really liked it. When I first took the lid off, I was like, eh, I don't know. This doesn't look that appetizing, but it was delicious. So definitely a must try. The recipe is down in the description box along with all of my discount codes and links to save you some money on your favorite WW products. If you are new to my channel, I would like to extend a warm welcome. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button and that bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. You don't want to miss a single one. Please thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what did you think of this episode of 30 Minute Meals. And I love you guys and I'll see you all in in the next one. Bye!